Nehemiah is the central figure of the Book of Nehemiah, which describes his work in rebuilding Jerusalem during the Second Temple period. He was governor of Persian Judea under Artaxerxes I of Persia c. 5th century BC. The name is pronounced or in English. It is in Hebrew Nehemiah, Nehemiah, Yahweh comforts. According to most scholars, Nehemiah was a real historical figure and the Nehemiah memoir, a name given by scholars to certain portions of the book written in the first person, is historically reliable. Topic: <laughs> Book of Nehemiah In the 20th year of Artaxerxes, king of Persia, 445–444 BC, Nehemiah was cup-bearer to the king. Learning that the remnant of Jews in Judah were in distress and that the walls of Jerusalem were broken down, he asked the king for permission to return and rebuild the city. Artaxerxes sent him to Judah as governor of the province with a mission to rebuild, letters explaining his support for the venture, and provision for timber from the king's forest. Once there, Nehemiah defied the opposition of Judah's enemies on all sides, Samaritans, Ammonites, Arabs and Philistines and rebuilt the walls within 52 days from the Sheep Gate in the north, the Hananil Tower at the northwest corner, the Fish Gate in the west, the Furnaces Tower at the Temple Mount southwest corner, the Dung Gate in the south, the East Gate and the gate beneath the Golden Gate in the east. Appearing in the Queen's presence may indicate his being a eunuch and in the Septuagint, the Greek translation of the Hebrew Bible, he is described as such, eunuchos, eunuch rather than oinochos, wine cup bearer. If so the attempt by his enemy Shemaiah to trick him into entering the temple is aimed at making him break Jewish law, rather than simply hide from assassins, he then took measures to repopulate the city and purify the Jewish community, enforcing the cancellation of debt, assisting Ezra to promulgate the law of Moses, and enforcing the divorce of Jewish men from their non-Jewish wives. After twelve years as governor, during which he ruled with justice and righteousness, he returned to the king in Susa. After some time in Susa he returned to Jerusalem, only to find that the people had fallen back into their evil ways. Non-Jews were permitted to conduct business inside Jerusalem on the Sabbath and to keep rooms in the temple. Greatly angered, he purified the temple and the priests and Levites and enforced the observance of the law of Moses. Rabbinic literature Nehemiah is identified in one Agadah with Zerubbabel, the latter name being considered an epithet of Nehemiah and as indicating that he was born at Babylon. However, Rabbi Isaiah Ditrani, in his commentary to the Book of Nehemiah, writes as factual that Nehemiah was a Kohen. With Ezra, Nehemiah marks the springtime in the national history of Judaism. Cant. R. I. I. 12. A certain Mishnah is declared by the rabbis to have originated in the school of Nehemiah. Shab. 123b. Still, Nehemiah is blamed by the rabbis for his seemingly boastful expression, Think upon me, my God, for good. Neh, v. 19, xiii. 31, and for his disparagement of his predecessors Ib, v. 15, among whom was Daniel. The rabbis think that these two faults were the reason that this book is not mentioned under its own name, but forms part of the Book of Ezra San. 93b. Although it seems this was true at the time the Talmud was compiled, it is not the case in modern Hebrew Bibles, in which Ezra and Nehemiah each has his own book. According to Baba Bathra 15 a Nehemiah completed the Book of Chronicles, which was written by Ezra. Art Samuel Taylor Coleridge commented on the dearth of any classical paintings featuring Nehemiah. See also Governors of Yehud Medinata Sanballat the Horonite Tobia Ammonite